Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video, and we have some important news to talk about regarding Arrival, ticker symbol ARVL. Uh, you guys know I made a video about this maybe a week ago. Um, this is one of my favorite companies, and we're just going to go ahead and talk about the news that just came out today. Um, some people are going to take this as negative news, but I take it as a positive, especially for someone who really believes in this company. And so let's just go ahead and get right into it. So to this morning, Arrival announced that they are doing a 25 million share offering. And so because of that, the price is tanked and you've got a lot of investors that are saying Rivian go to the moon and Lucid Motors go to the moon. And they're just they're just starting to get really, really frustrated with Arrival. And so I just want to go ahead and add some type of perspective uh, to this whole thing and why I'm still holding and why I actually plan to buy more today. And so first off, let me just say I'm not surprised by this at all, because when you look at their latest earnings, the company said in their latest earnings that they were delaying the start of production for their large van to 2023. And then they also delayed construction of one of their micro factories from 2022 to 2023. And then they said that they don't even want to uh, post their revenue until next year. And it just perfectly makes sense. And so also in their earnings report, they said that the bus and van production volumes in 2022 are expected to be modest because 2022 is the first year that the company is starting production and is now expecting a more conservative ramp in each of its first three micro factories. So they already let you know in the earnings report pretty much what's going on here. And so. Arrival, it says here that Arrival also expects to start each micro factory on one shift and does not expect them to reach full capacity until 2023, early 2023. Furthermore, due to capital constraints, Arrival has moved its fourth micro factory to 2023 as well. Now, capital constraints is the key word here, right? Because capital constraints pretty much means exactly what you think it means. It, it basically means that they are going to need to raise more capital. When a company says in its earnings report that it's capital constrained and they're delaying new projects, huge projects, that tells you that they need more money. That pretty much tells you everything that you, that you need to know. They, they need more money. And so I'm not surprised by this move. I saw it coming. Uh, just moving on, it says that Arrival continues to expect van micro factories to produce 10,000 vehicles per year when they reach full capacity. Now, remember, they won't reach full capacity until 2023. They said that in the earnings report. So that shows that we still have a while to wait. And so if they're not going to reach their goals until later on, then they're going to need more money to get there. And they explained everything in the uh, earnings report. They, they basically told you we need more money. We're being delayed. And I told you guys from the beginning, um, when you're investing in an EV startup, this is honestly to be expected. I mean, if we just go ahead and look at Tesla, if you look at Tesla, remember, I invested in Tesla in like 2016. So I remember uh, how this whole thing went with Tesla. I remember Tesla in that time, they just kept raising money and raising money. And the stock traded flat literally for like years. It traded flat for a really long time. Like Tesla hovered around like that. 50 to 60 dollar range forever because they just kept trying to raise money and raise money and raise money so they could meet their goals and now look what tesla is today now obviously i'm not saying that arvl is going to be the next tesla but i think that arvl is going to be a huge player in the ev space and so they're just they're in share dilution stage right now they're trying to raise money and i think a lot of people need to realize that although we use the stock market to make money. You have to remember what the stock market is intended to do. The stock market is actually for companies to raise money. That's what the stock market is for. They go public so they can raise money so they can grow as a company and meet their goals. And so all they're doing is exactly what the stock market is intended for. So I'm not mad at all. I mean, let's just go ahead and look at the chart for ARVL. Um, obviously, ARVL tanked really bad after that news, which is to be expected. They did an offering. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me. And so um, it was at 13 and it tanked all the way to about $11. And honestly, I'm not really all that worried. I mean, I think when market opens, this thing could fall even farther. This thing could go to $10. This thing could probably go even lower. It could even go to $9. But like I said, I see that as an opportunity to buy more shares. That's what I see it as. Like I said, I'm a huge believer in this company. Um, they are an EV startup. 
Um, obviously, we have not gotten very much good news from this company, but I think in the long run, uh, that's OK. I mean, if you just go and look at their website, I like the vans that they're making. They, they have pictures of like what their vans and cars and vehicles are going to look like. And I really like the way that they look. If you go on a YouTube channel, you can see exactly what their micro factories look like. And I think it's just going to take time. And I think most of the frustration that people are having with this stock is not understanding that with many of these companies, you have to have a long term, you know, three to five year outlook when you're investing in these companies. You know, the stock market isn't get rich quick. So you can't expect to just put five thousand dollars into a stock and it just goes to the moon like Rivian. What's happening with Rivian is uh yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what to say to that. I mean, obviously, Rivian is significantly over, overvalued. Um, I did not expect Rivian to do that. And I can understand why people are upset with a good company like uh, ARVL when they're seeing stocks like Lucid Motors and Rivian go to the moon. And don't get me wrong, those are good companies, but they also have a lot of momentum behind them. You know, there's a lot of uh, euphoria around those stocks. And so I understand how I could upset you. But the way I look at it is once upon a time, Lucid was trading at, you know, $17 and nobody wanted the stock then. You know, nobody ever wants the stock when nobody else wants it. Everybody always wants the stocks that everybody wants when that's the opposite. You should be chasing the stocks that nobody wants like ARVO right now. Right now, absolutely nobody wants ARVO. And so this will be the perfect time to buy it. And right now, everybody wants Lucid Motors. That's why Lucid Motors is at $60 in pre-market. And, you know, that's just a backwards way to trade. And so uh, obviously I do have a position in Lucid, but I bought Lucid very early. I bought Lucid at $18 and that investment has done very, very well. And now I'm going to go ahead and buy a rival. Um, my average cost on arrival already is about twelve, thirteen dollars. But I, if this thing goes down to ten or nine dollars, I'm just going to average down and I'll happily hold my shares for the long term. And yeah, hope you guys understood and appreciated that explanation as to what's going on with arrival and why I still believe in the company. Uh, mostly for me, I like their products and I think if they could just successfully uh, meet their goals in the long term and get the manufacturing done, I think this could be a really good company going forward. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.